Martin Luther King Jr. has been dead for many years and has become an iconic figure in U.S. history for his leadership of struggles against racism and segregation. As protests against police brutality continue to grow larger, many felt that it was necessary on King's 86th birthday to commemorate his contributions and put them in a modern context. Activists gathered near the African Burial Ground, a national monument located in Lower Manhattan. Monica Moorhead, an organizer of the protests, explained why so many people continue to admire King. Dr. King was all about struggle. He was all about activism. He was all about connecting those issues, the economic issues, along and uh, with the social issues. And we really feel if he was alive today, if he was allowed to turn 86 years old today, he would be with us today, standing in solidarity with the victims of police terror. Larry Holmes, a leader of the People's Power Assembly, said the struggle for economic justice, which was King's central focus in the last two years of his life, remains highly relevant. We need jobs and schools and health care and housing uh, and, and services and uh, a decent minimum wage, a living wage. We don't need the police as an answer to the social problems of young black and brown poor people. Alexia Flippo, a student activist at Hunter College, says that despite the cold weather, the protests continue to grow larger and she anticipates bigger demonstrations in the spring and summer. Absolutely no way that these protests are dying down. And for anyone who thinks they are, that means they're not on the streets because we're getting stronger every day. And when the summer comes, we're shutting it down. As protesters laid flowers at the African burial ground, they were monitored by a crowd of roughly 50 police officers. Protesters said they are planning many acts of disruption and civil disobedience in the lead up to the national holiday commemorating Dr. King on Monday. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.